Man, this next one. One of my favorites, actually. Surah Al-Saf. Surah Al-Saf. Allah talks about Musa alayhi salam. Then he talks about Isa alayhi salam. Which nation was Musa alayhi salam sent to? Huh? Bani Israel. Very good. You, you guys are better than some of the kids I teach. <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes you get scary answers. You know, I was used to teach at a Sunday school. Hey, where was the Prophet born? This kid raised in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> we got a long way to go. <laughs> you know. But anyway, Musa alayhi salam spoke to which nation? Bani Israel. Okay. Isa alayhi salam is in the next ayah. Which nation was he sent to? Bani Israel. They were both sent to? Bani Israel. Okay. When Allah talks about Musa alayhi salam, he says, وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ When Musa said to his nation. When Musa alayhi salam said to his nation. Who is his nation? Bani Israel. And the next ayah says, وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ and by the way, Musa alayhi salam said, Ya Qawmi, Ya Qawmi. Anybody know what Ya Qawmi means? My people, my people, Lima tu'udhunani, why do you cause me pain? What kind of people are you? But you're my people. Why are you doing this? But when Isa alayhi salam spoke, he did not say Ya Qawmi. He said, Ya Bani Israel. Ya Bani Israel. Very next ayah. What's strange is, they are both prophets, they are both messengers, they are both talking to the same exact what? Nation. So how come one of them says, Ya Qawmi, and the other one in the very next ayah, Allah makes him say what? Ya Ban Israel. You see, in the Arabic, in Arabic tradition, to be from a nation, your father has to be from that nation. To be from a nation, who must be from that nation? Your father. If my father is Pakistani and my mother is Bangladeshi, then according to that, I am what? I'm Pakistani, even though my mom is Pakistani too. I'm just saying. Okay? Like my kids, my wife is Indian. My wife's Indian. So, and I'm Pakistani. And there's a confusion in the household. So, I, so we decide the kids are Bangladeshi, therefore. We just, that's what we, <laughs> we settled the issue. <laughs> But anyway, technically, because I am the father, then they, they will be what? Pakistani. More than anything else, they're confused. But wh whatever. The, no, and by the way, since I brought this up about Bani Israel, I should tell you recently, I know you, some of you are like, al -azim, la hawla wa la la billah. Recently, I made friends with a rabbi. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah al azim Some of you are getting up right now like, Tu, I'm leaving here. Like, <laughs> So what happened was, I was giving a talk about Ibrahim alayhi salam to non-Muslims. I was talking about the place of Abraham in Islam. And I, would give, I was giving this talk and a rabbi, like a, like a proper rabbi, one of those rabbi rabbis, was sitting in the first row. And the guy was crying the entire time. The entire time. And he came up to me afterwards. And we started talking, we became good friends. And we, you know, we spent some time together and discussed things here and there. And we've, we've had some pretty interesting exchange with each other. We, we, I, I told him, look, I want to talk to you about Moses and Abraham. This is why I want to be your friend. I want to talk to you about Musa and Ibrahim السلام, Because Allah talks to my, my master and my, our, our Lord in his revelation talks to your, your people a lot. Ya Bani Israel, Ya Bani Israel, Ya Bani Israel. So clearly you have some background. And Allah is talking to you based on your background. And I want to understand your perspective. I don't want to talk about you, I want to talk to you. I don't want to judge what you say from books. I want to judge what you say from you. You tell me what you believe about Musa. You tell me what you believe about Ibrahim alayhi salam. And they say the most ridiculous things. They do. We have the, the most incredible conversations about, uh, about the prophets. And they are... Wallahi, I tell you one thing I learned from that. And he's, we still talk a lot. We call him Ibrahim. They call him Ibrahim. Right? And we even have a recitation, Ibrahim. But we're talking about two different people. What we know about Ibrahim alayhi salam, they have no idea. We call him Musa, they call him Mushay, Torat Mushay. 
but who we call Musa in the Quran and who, who they call Wallahi, when you read and when you hear what they say about these same people you will say you're not talking about my Musa alayhi salam you're talking about somebody else I don't know who you're talking about that ain't him you got the wrong address or something because this is because we disagree on almost everything almost everything but you know why when I brought this up I was talking to you about Surah Al-Saf one, one messenger says Ya Qawmi the other messenger says what? Ya Bani Israel why did I bring up the rabbi? because the, you know, the rabbis hold the opinion that to be from a nation your mother should be from that nation They're, they have that opinion that's in Judaism in traditional Judaism they, it's a recent development but they have it so he says no ethnicity does not come from the father ethnicity comes from the Mother, I said, okay, Rabbi, let's have some fun then. <laughs> Musa alayhi salam ran away from Egypt. He ran to a place called Madian. Madian is Arab. You know that, right, Rabbi? He goes, yes, of course, it's Arab. It's Arab. Okay, and he met a man in Madian, and that man married his daughter to Musa. So Musa married an Arab. You, okay? you with me, Rabbi? You, you good? Yeah, yeah, Musa married an Arab. Okay. Therefore, all of his children, according to you, are Arabs. <laughs> so he's just like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Ethnicity comes from who? Father. The father. That's why, Rabbi, you call your people the sons of Israel. You don't call your nation by the name of your mother. You call your nation by the name of your... Father, all of humanity is called children of who? Adam, not Hawa. We call ourselves Banu Adam, children of Adam. Why? Because our identity comes from who? The Father. This is how it started, guys. Last name Adam. That's how it started. And it's been that way since. It's been that way since. Now, coming back to this. To be from a nation, who has to be from that nation? When Musa alayhi salam says, Ya qawmi. You know what he's saying? You're my people because my father is from you. Isa alayhi salam in the Quran never says, Ya qawmi. Never says, Ya qawmi. He always says what? Ya bani Israel. And he cannot say, Ya qawmi. Because if he says, Ya qawmi, he would be saying, My father is from you. The technical problem with that is, he doesn't have a father. So he cannot say, Ya qawmi. He can only say, Ya Bani Israel, the Quran protects the virgin birth of Jesus better than the Bible. Ya Bani Israel. This is what you call precision beyond human ability. Allah didn't have to write a separate chapter on why we believe that Isa alayhi salam is not you know, born of a, or, or doesn't have a father. He can just make him say Ya Bani Israel and that's enough. That's enough. And what did I tell you? Identity comes from who? Father. So we say about the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammadun ibn Abdullah. Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Right? Okay. We say, for example, Umar. Umar ibn Khattab. But we say, Isa ibn. Oh. Allah broke it. Because this time you cannot have another identity. Sorry, there's no father available. There's no father. So you have to say what? Maryam. There is no other man, there is no other person when you talk about them and you say Ibn and you say a woman's name. Except who? Isa alayhi salam. Because it's a part of our belief that this is only one parent. There's no, there's no other parent, so you have to say Ibn Maryam. And this is also this is an honoring of Maryam salamun alayha, and it's a further validation of the virgin birth. You know, in some renditions of the Bible, the first chapters of the Bible are the lineage of Jesus. <laughs> And the husband of Mary and all of that. The Quran completely cleanses the, the messenger and uh, Maryam of this accusation. So this was the second example that I wanted to share with you.